Version 10.0 is an overhaul of the app's organizers, navigation, and UI, UX. In the Home tab, you can switch between the default view and between areas, and the projects, and activities under these areas. When viewing an area, project, or activity, other than the dashboard and timeline, you will see a new overview section that provides quick access to notes, planner, and journal content of that organizer. There are three types of overview panels, quick access panel with pinned items, notes, and files, planner panel with ongoing tasks, goals, and calendar sessions, and journal panel with trackers and templates. The overview section is customizable. You can remove panels that you don't need, or you can remove the entire overview section. While editing an area, project, or activity, you can also add private labels. Tags are now called labels. Private labels help you organize your content better by applying labels that only make sense in the context of a specific organizer. There's also a config option for parent organizers. From here you can customize whether the parent organizers will be automatically added when organized journaling and planning items with this organizer. Now you can hide items from the timeline. Just tap the three dots to open the on timeline info panel. In the visibility section, you can hide the item from the main timeline or timeline of a specific organizer. The timeline filter has been improved. You can now filter by item type, private labels, and visibility. You can manage all organizers in the organizer tab. Additionally, tasks, goals, habits, and trackers are now also considered as organizers. Meaning they have their own timeline, and you can organize entries as well as other items with them. For each organizer type, you can filter by area and other filtering options. You can select and do batch operations on them. You can view and manage all content of an organizer. For example, when viewing an area, you can tap the info button on the top to open the organizer's content view. From here you can view the timeline items, entries, notes, calendar sessions, etc. that belong to the area. More than that, you can easily reorganize the content all at once. For example, tap the menu button, tap move content to another organizer. Select the organizer you want to move the content to. Select the content you want to move, and tap the Done button. The Objective tab on the main screen let you access to your tasks and goals. Switch to the Library tab. You can see now you can organize your notes with folders and filters, just like what we had with files. You can drag and drop notes into folders, filter by organizers, note type, Archiving status, text. You can view and manage all the calendar sessions in the new calendar sessions manager view. Here again, you can filter by organizers and other filtering options. You can select and do batch operations on them. Additionally, a calendar session now can belong to multiple tasks or goals. Back to the main screen, you can see that the yellow create button has been removed. Instead, you can create new items by tapping the plus button on each tab. For example, tap the plus button on the home tab to add a new timeline item. The organizer's selector has been redesigned. Firstly, you can choose the areas and the threads. A thread is either a project or an activity. Then tap the buttons on the top to show the descriptors, i.e. labels, people, places, and objectives, i.e. tasks, goals. You can select your mood level and feelings right from here. The feelings now can be categorized into negative, neutral, and positive. You would need to manually categorize your existing feelings to appropriate categories by dragging and dropping them. After selecting the mood level and feelings, you can tap the left button to add a quick entry, or the right button to add a normal entry.
or tap the Done button to return for more options. In the Planner tab, tap the Plus button to add a calendar session. In the Objective tab, you can now add a new task. Or goal. In the Library tab, you can add a new note, folder, or files. The search view has been simplified too. You can search for everything, things in the timeline, notes, calendar sessions, and organizers. You can apply filters to narrow down the search results. And finally, the web version is now free. That's it for Journal It 10.0, available on Android, iOS, and web at journalit.app. I hope this update will make the app more intuitive and easier to use. Please feel free to comment if you have any questions. Happy journaling!